What's up guys, I'm James from Max Tech. You've already read the title, so let's get right into it. Like, comment, subscribe. So obviously this is not a paid endorsement. I only have like 200 subscribers on YouTube, but uh, I'm gonna share this anyways because it will save your ears and it will give you a competitive edge in the game. We're gonna download this free software um, called Sound Locker. I'll leave the, or Sound Lock. Uh, I'll leave the link uh, in the description below. So we're gonna go ahead and click download, free download. I'm gonna open it up, go through the setup. Next, accept all terms. Next, install. Uh, let's launch Sound Lock. Yeah. Okay. Done and done. So what this program is going to do is it's going to decrease the highest points of the volume without decreasing the lowest points of the volume. So what you're going to do is going to be saving your ears because you can crank your volume so that you can hear those footsteps nice and loud. Uh, but when someone shoots a bullet right next to your face, it's not going to blow your eardrums. Um, something you can't do simply by just turning the volume down. You know, you know what I mean? So we're going to open sound lock here. And here it is just this little thing in the bottom of the screen here. Let's see if I can zoom in here in post. <clears throat> So it's already remembered my settings from when I previously had it set up, but most likely you're going to see it right there and it's going to be set to off when you first get it. So select on and just for a safe bet, you can pretty much assume you're at least going to drop it down to 50%. So we're going to open up the settings here. Uh, you can see channel zero, channel one selected, filter per channel, uh, output device is default. You probably don't need to change that unless you're doing something weird with your sound. Um, launch sound lock when you when Windows starts, definitely. Automatically enable sound lock when it starts, definitely. And we're gonna save. All right. So it'll just be in your taskbar here is this little lock item here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the game and uh, we're gonna fine tune it based on your audio settings, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to load into the game here. <clears throat> Get your headphones on. And you're going to want to invite one of your buddies to help you out uh, setting this up. So, uh, you want my master volume is at 15.83 in-game, if you want to check that out as well, boost high. And make sure also your headset volume is... Um, at its max, you want your Windows volume to be at max, your headset volume to be at max, and your in-game volume to be controlled um, at an appropriate level so that you're not just blasting your speakers. <clears throat> so let's hop into a game. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to check out the flight path. And we're going to try and get this done with as soon as possible. But what we're going to do is we're going to find a portion of the map that people are most likely not going to be. Uh, and we're going to land there right away. So let's, let's land in this tunnel right here. I don't think I've ever seen anyone land inside the tunnel. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to alt tab out of the game and I'm going to open up the enemy soldier income. I'm going to open up uh, sound lock here and I'm going to get Danny Ray to just run around in a circle as close as he can to me and I'm going to watch how far these uh, um, meters go up when he does that. So go ahead. So as you can see, it's very, very low. Um, so you don't really have to worry too much about that. But what we do want to worry about is the um, 
the bullets that he's going to shoot uh, next to my head. Uh, so he's going to come right up to my face and he's going to shoot a bunch of bullets right in my face. And then we're going to see how high the meter reads those bullets. Go ahead, Dan. And as you can see, um, it's working good, right? The bullets are going up to a maximum of the red line. So if I put this up to 100% and Danny shoots again, that's, that's loud, right? So what it's doing um, is it's decreasing the maximum volume that you're going to hear in game. I put mine around 30%. I think that's pretty good for me. Um, and uh, Danny, go ahead and shoot some bullets. As you can hear, it's much quieter. And if you run around with your footsteps, you can still hear the footsteps. Now, you can tweak this even further if you want by <clears throat> um, turning this down even further. Um, it's going to start sounding a little weird at this point, but you can turn that down a little further and literally just turn the volume up even louder in game to give you even more of an advantage hearing the footsteps. Um, uh, sure, well, let's give it a shot. I'll show you what I mean. You saw where the levels were going for his footsteps, right? <clears throat> so if I go in game audio and I crank this way up to 55, oof. And we all tab out of the game. <laughs> if this doesn't work, my my eardrums are dead. Um, but as you can see, if Danny's running around, you can see that the footsteps are actually much louder now. And I'm going to trust the sound lock to do its job. If he shoots next to my ear here, it should not be too much louder. Right? So you can really pull this right down and really maximize the footsteps and the small sounds. Um, but I think this might be a little bit too much. There might be some other sounds that you want a bit louder. Um, perhaps to like gauge uh, distance on the bullets being shot a little bit better. So um, I'm going to do it in the right order. I'm going to go back in game. I'm going to drop this back down to like say like 16 and then I'm going to alt tab back out of the game and I'm going to put that up to about 30 percent and then I'll test Danny uh, to shoot in my face one more time please I can easily deal with that volume and if you can run around I can hear his footsteps very clearly with that. <clears throat> All right. And, uh, and that's it. So as you can tell, it's only going to be available on PC, which kind of sucks for console people. Um, really, really cool free software uh, that absolutely protects your ears uh, in the long run. And it actually does give you a competitive edge as well if you're able to crank up the volume on your footsteps as well so let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the uh ethical portion of this do you think it's fair that um uh to be using this kind of uh software uh say in a tournament setting where if you're playing against console players they're not actually going to be able to have this option uh does is it unfair or is it actually just makes sense and um and also what are you going to be using it for uh, are you going to be using it to save your ears or are you going to be using it to get that competitive edge to boost the footstep audio or both? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video and want to see more like it, uh, hit the like button and then subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Later, dinks.